Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I wanted to share a little bit about my day. I went to, uh, well I got up this morning and I, um, you know, basically started my day as I always do and checked my emails and went through um, some critical things that you got to do for business. And then I decided that I was going to start uh, getting up like doing that sort of ritual, checking my emails, doing stuff that's critical, and then hitting the gym. So if I go to the gym earlier in the day, I find that I have much more success with weight loss, and I really, really want to lose some weight, and it's kind of gotten out of control for me. Um, not that I eat poorly or anything. I don't. Um, I eat really clean, but if you follow me for a while, I don't have the greatest thyroid, so I can eat clean and healthy and still have a tendency to not lose weight, even though I'm in the gym and I'm staying active. I work out probably five days a week, and I used to do six, and I used to do at least two days of doubles, so um, I'm going to try to go back to six. <laughs> I hope I can do six because I'm much more successful when I do that, especially when I add doubles. Um, I consider yesterday a win because Bab was just short of canceling his membership at the gym and he's actually gone a couple of times this week. Um, True and her boyfriend have moved out and so this is our first week for Bab and I to be together and alone and kind of purging the house and cleaning out pantries and we just decided that we were you know well I decided that I was going to spend some more time doing things for myself as opposed to doing things for everyone else which is what I've done for about 30 years <laughs> and I don't know I'm just I'm trying to embrace that true has moved out it's hard I mean I have cried every day <laughs> don't get me wrong it is hard but um, you know Babs had to go vegetarian so we've been ordering hello fresh and we've been eating more vegetarian like now I've always eaten well as far as like vegetables and you know that sort of thing but um, Bab has cleaned up quite a bit especially for Bab if you <laughs> if you had any idea how poorly he ate before it was shockingly bad I mean burgers and fries and chicken nuggets and pizza and beer and it was just everyday chick-fil-a and Jimmy John's and just all this processed bad for you McDonald's and um, I just don't eat that way I just I, I can't even I grew up in the country we ate you know stuff that we grew or we'd go down to the dairy or you know we'd go to the like there was it wasn't called a farmers market it was just we'd go to people's like if they were a berry farm we'd go pick berries <laughs> if they grew um, peaches or, you know, they had an apple tree or something, we would go, hey, you know, I need some apples to make an apple pie, which apple pie is not healthy, but you know what I mean. So I decided that with, you know, taking better care of myself, um, that I needed to exercise more. So Bab has gone to the gym twice this week with me, and uh, last night I even talked him into a very long walk around the park and we have a I'm very lucky we have a park literally across the street and um, it's huge baseball field soccer fields football field um, you know it's just a lovely area and that's one of the reasons why I picked this home to live in because of the schools and the park and the creek and just the general like arts and creative and natural like it we're big into recycling and so I just love this area so I'm feeling good about that and then 
I've been watching a lot of vegan shows because I don't want to add um, a bunch of like I don't know I don't want to go vegan but bad being vegetarian he eats a lot of things like cheese and dairy and I don't traditionally eat a lot of cheese and dairy I find that inflammatory for me and that would be cheating like that would be cheat food so I have been looking into vegan now I do low carb so I can't take in a whole lot of carbs because that will put weight on me very fast um, so I'm trying to find a balance here I want I've had some fantastic recipes come across um, and I do eat a lot of nuts and um, I don't eat a lot of fruit because it is high in sugar um, but I know that's not bad sugars per se but you know there are some things like bananas and pineapples and you know very high in sugar products that you should not take in if you're trying to stay lean and anyway I just I've spent you know 30 years figuring out my body as far as fitness and foods and I know what works for me it might not work for you but I know what works for me and you know Bab has been a bad influence and so you know well I've had you know more glasses of wine than in the past um, you know, we'll sit and have a glass of wine and watch a movie at night. I never watched TV or movies or anything like that before Bab. Um, well, I did, I mean, like many, many, many years ago. But it was, it's a way of us spending time together. So, anyway. Um, and then, you know, we kind of do the menace thing where we go and have Mexican food on Friday night and he does that for me I it's my one cheat meal a week and um, I don't really want to cut that out but until I get some weight off I'm not sure what how I'm gonna handle that because you know I'm from Texas so Mexican food is pretty important <laughs> um, but I thought I would just like I went to the gym and then I've been watching vegan youtubers and I've really been researching like hot for food and like recipes and Sarah's vegan kitchen and things like that so I'm kind of on this new kick where I want to eat cleaner healthier than I already do and just kind of embrace that and hopefully the weight will come off with the um, increased exercise earlier in the day I do best when I do not eat and then I go work out um, that is how I was successful before. I don't feel good when I eat and then work out. I feel much better when I work out on an empty stomach. So earlier in the day is, is critical to success for me. But I ran by Whole Foods. I've picked up some things. Um, I'm about to make some stir fry. So I've got fresh broccoli. Um, I have a little like leftover onion. And I do like bean sprouts. Um, Mung, mung bean sprouts. I've got um, some recipes I'm going to make today like there is a vegan mayonnaise that is fantastic. I can't believe I didn't know about it and I'm going to mix it with a little sriracha and I bought cucumber and carrot and things like that. Uh, I've got to run up to the Asian market to get some brown rice wrapping papers and I'm going to make my own spring rolls for me and Bab. And then I'm going to use that vegan mayonnaise and some sriracha and mix it up and make like a, a sriracha mayo. So like no calories um, in the mayo. And it's just, what's it made from? I don't even know what it's made from. Probably soy or something like that. Um, what? What did I do with that? So... Oh, here we go. It's called Amazing Mayo. And it has no calories, no fat, no carbs, gluten and sugars. Oh, gluten and sugar free, I guess. Amazing Mayo. And so I love it. I think this is fantastic. It is made from vegetable flour. I'm sorry, vegetable fiber. 
apple cider vinegar, salt, white vinegar, xanthan gum, stuff like that. So, really good. And then I saw another recipe, like Hot For Food, um, Lauren Toyota makes this um, maple syrup with sriracha mix. And she says it's fantastic and it sounds fantastic and I love sweet and savory together. I'm more of a savory person, so I don't eat cupcakes or cookies or anything like that. Um, I will indulge in a few pieces of very fine gourmet chocolates, like with a glass of wine, if we go on vacation or to a winery or something like that. Um, but I am going to mix that. I have some sugar-free maple syrup because I don't, I try not to take in uh, sugars. So this is by Maple Grove Farms and I'm going to mix a little bit of that with sriracha and I'm just going to play around with sriracha today. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to try to make my own Parmesan with nutritional yeast and um, some raw cashews and a little bit of sea salt and see how that turns out. I've really been enjoying uh, some of these recipes. I've got to find some more things. I think I've got some red pepper to add to my stir fry. I'll probably use some amino acids and um, I don't know, maybe some spinach or something. Who knows? I do have some seitan, which um, it's like fake chicken that I could throw in there, but I'm, I'm really not even missing meat lately. I did have turkey bacon yesterday, and it was delicious. <laughs> and I am an egg fanatic. I love eggs. So I, I don't know. I'm going to find a balance. Um, I've also gotten back into smoothies. So hemp hearts, chia seeds, flax seeds, protein powders. Because um, I don't want to give up protein. I do very well on protein. And I don't want to take in a lot of carbs. So this is going to be a learning experience. But I thought I would just share with you what I'm doing today. And I know this isn't scrappy related. But um, I would like to do more of this. I may even make my own channel. Because I am very... I mean, outside of Cheeky Studio and outside of scrapbooking, I also love to garden. I love to exercise. I love to play with recipes. I'm very domestic, so <clears throat> I love to clean. I mean, there's <laughs> and I like to stay as natural as possible. So, you know, I'm not the best at it, but I do try. So, anyway, I thought I'd just say hi and um, do more YouTube sharing and uh, video blogging or vlogging, I guess. And I know I'm a mess, but I'm gonna make my stir fry because I'm starving. So I'll chat with you later though. Ta-ta for now.